Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Accelerator here, and so I'm just gonna update you guys on what has happened with both of my RC vehicles, uh, of my main ones, uh, just so that we're all on the same page and because I've been gone for so long. So let's start off with the Viper. First thing I did since you've been gone is I changed out the headlights, I broke out the glass that was in here, the roll was plastic, and then replaced the uh, fake little light bulb with a little piece of blue. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I think it looks kind of cool. I uh, added a number just because. Um, and that's Tanner Faust's number, by the way. Just so you know. Uh, and then the taillights are different. So I took off the glass piece here and then put a bulb that doesn't work in there. Drilled the hole bigger so I could put it in. Same thing on the other side. Um, it's also painted too, so I kind of like this color. It's a little bit darker. It kind of gives it more of a street racer look. Uh, so on the wheels is the original color it was. Uh, no, that's about all that's changed for that. Uh, it's just kind of cosmetics. So the crawler is different. Uh, I think you guys have seen these wheels. Um, motor setup is all the same. It's higher. I'm not sure if, you, if I told you guys that, but it's higher. It's about, I think the body is like two inches higher than it normally was. Uh, the biggest thing that has changed is the front end can now pivot. So here, let me set this down so I can show you an example of that. Hold on. Uh, there. Okay. So if we set it on, say, a battery for a drill, front end pivots, just like that. And also, the front end turns together. Uh, I didn't really want to make it turn together, but this way there's no wobble on the wheel because it is connected straight into the axle, which runs uh, inside of this aluminum piece here, which is actually from a bow arrow that I cut up. <laughs> Uh, and then this is epoxied and put on there with some picture hanger wire uh, to the servo, which steers it. And so it's now black. It has, I think, like a three pound weight or something right here in the middle. And the crawler itself, I think, is, uh, it's really close to five pounds. It's like 4.7 uh, something. I don't know. But it's at least three times as heavy as the... As the Viper now. So what that means is there's a lot of weight on the tires so when you go over something that's not quite steady the tires can kind of flex around it. So it goes a lot better off-road basically is all that means uh, and it has plenty of power to handle it. I'm still surprised that this little motor is holding up uh, just because of that gearing. I'm hoping that motor never goes bad because if it does I do have a 32 turn motor I could put in there, but then I need to get a transmission and figure out how I'm doing the whole back axle. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is kind of to the point where I don't really have a lot of problems anymore. When I first started making the front end pivot and turn, it was kind of too much and I had to, I had to do at least probably 15 things to figure out what is right uh, as far as what's going to be reliable and what's going to give me the best off-roading and I think this is kind of it even though the front axles locked together it it's kind of what I had to do to keep the wheels from kind of wobbling and falling off the axle so they're on there with just some uh, epoxy right there uh, so that's just basically stuff you mix up and then it gets really hard it's like plastic uh, and I have that on the ends of the servo horn here so it doesn't slide uh, but yeah that's about it uh, that's really changed with this. Uh, the electronics are pretty much all the same as before. Um, I have my receiver under here because it's not waterproof. Uh, that is water resistant. So, I mean, I can drive this in, like, mist. I'm fine with that, but I really don't like to drive it in rain. But anyways, I probably don't have enough storage to make this video very long. So, anyways, until next time, this is the accelerator. I show you, that's a, that's a new outro, isn't it? Uh... Have a great day, I guess. <laughs> Bye.